Welcome to this presentation of Atlas Tire from Microsoft Dynamics AX. Today I'm going to talk about the General Ledger module and how it's changed between previous versions of AX, that being 2.5.3.4.2009 and AX 2012, where the General Ledger has been uh, redone from the ground up. Inside AX for 2012, uh, what you'll find is a bit different is inside my general ledger, I obviously have my main accounts. So uh, this is my chart of accounts. However, the way this is set up is uh, by previous versions of AX, this was done per company, whereas 2012 is a bit different. I need to go in my general ledger setup chart of accounts and before I can get to my actual chart of accounts, I need to have selected the chart of account structure to be used. So, for instance, uh, the Contoso example, uh, the general ledger being used is actually the corporate main account bracket shared. So this is my chart of accounts or general ledger being used by the Contoso company and I have other chart of accounts different structures for different entities inside AX. So what that means is before I can get a report out of AX of my chart of accounts I need to know which one of these chart of account records or structures my company uses. So with Atlas now what we have to do first is uh, so this is a list report of my chart of accounts however instead of it being for a particular company what I need to do is is actually determine uh, which chart of account structure to be used so as I click around my my list of my main accounts will change so from a user's perspective I need to know which one of these is to be used for my chart uh, before I can then go and get balances 2009 uh, it was much simpler I simply have a company uh, and the report itself uh, was simply based off ledger table so as my company changes uh, then it was very easy to go and get my chart I'm going to recap while I'm looking at 2009 and I'm just going to show you how to get a balance of an account balance out for a general ledger account in 2009 and how that's different uh, with AX 2012 so first up let me just get a column heading and what I want to do is, even though this is a page header row it doesn't matter what I want to do is go and get an account balance for a ledger account 100,000 and put it into uh, this particular cell. So the principle in the past has been to go to free format balance where for 2009 as this is my core system from the ledger transactions table I want to filter on something. I'd like to filter on a given company and on a given ledger account. So I've done my filters for the first cell, I designed the first cell and then I use a the power of Excel and drag this down to all the other rows. So before I want to drag this down, I'm going to correct the cell referencing. I want as I drag this down the row number to automatically increment. And finally to build my balance I say what I'd like aggregated. So the amount column uh, is fine for that and I can see one other thing in in my report I need to have a date in here as this is my general ledger and highly likely I have a date filter as well so I'm going to go and pick my date so the ledger transactions table within previous versions of AX was very simple it had the key fields on it company a date transaction date and a ledger account the GL account that the transaction is for so very simple for me to build that simple formula then use the power of Excel to 
actually go and get my figures. So now that's all done and as Atlas has placed a figure into a cell, that means I can drill down and see the source transactions. When I moved to 2012, it's a little bit different. The ledger transactions table in 2012 has now been split up to three or four tables. There are, and there are a couple of other complexities. The general ledger account, for example, 40110, is no longer on that particular table. So you can't just browse a table and see what the ledger account was uh, that that transaction is for. The two, there are two key tables uh, that the ledger transactions has been split up into. One of the tables contains the transaction date, the other table contains the transaction amount. So in order to get a balance for a particular time or a particular date range, uh, which you would always want to do within your general ledger, uh, you must always join these two tables as, as these two columns have been separated into two different tables. The tables themselves are joined by record IDs. So I'm going to try and do exactly that. I'm going to build a balance. Uh, now this time I need to say, as I um, haven't specified yet a particular company, as my, my list here is for a particular company, I'm going to make the CEU. So I'm going to build a balance formula much the same way. So structured free format balance. So this time in 2012 I need to say, well, okay, so my base table for a balance formula will be the table that contains the amount, the transaction amount. So if I have a look at my posted uh, transactions. The table I'm looking for now is, the label is called General Journal Account Entry and the table name in the AOT is called General Journal Account Entry. So that's my base table because it contains the amount, the transaction amount. I will now filter on this and I'm going to filter on a particular company found here. Uh, and you can see by default, the default uh, fields for filtering are, are very barren. What I'm going to have to do is go and add in the main account uh, I'd like to have as my filter as well and the date range. So as I click on fields I get a list of fields from the base table and what you'll now see is I'm looking for main account. Now main account it's, it's not this ledger account that you can see here that's not the ledger account of the transaction what I'm actually looking for is a dimension value called ledger dimension main account. This is the actual ledger account to be used or that was used in the transaction, not this other convenient looking or conveniently labeled field called ledger account. I'm actually looking for the main account and if I show my system names as I've done, the field will be called ledger dimension underscore main account. So that's one of my filters done. If I click OK, and you'll see my main account has come in here and I can go and pick the cell that contains my main account as I have done before. I'm going to remove the dollar sign so that the cell reference of 13 uh, B13 changes as I drag this down to B13, B14 and so forth. And the last thing I need to do now is um, include my date as another filter. So the date's found on another table. So there are some additions we had to do uh, with Dynamic with Atlas 5 uh, that Atlas 4 was not capable of, which was in a balance formula context um, to actually having to join. So what I need to do is look at my relations and I have a relation here to my general journal entry. So this is the other half of the old ledger transactions. So I'm going to click on that plus. And what I can now have in my available fields is the, the date of the transaction, uh, now called a counting date. So I can now bring this in as a filter. And I'm going to pick the cell that contains my date range, my date filter. 
So I've had to join some tables up to go and get a particular balance. Now what I can do is again I'm going to choose the same thing, uh, currency amount. So I've got transaction currency amount, I've got reporting currency amount, and accounting currency amount. So the accounting currency amount is the old amount MST column that that was in previous versions of AX. So this is a column I'd like to sum up in my particular case. I'll click insert and drag this down. to get some balances from AX. So this is having to join two tables to get a single balance uh, as the, the nature of the fields, the most common fields I need, a main account and a date of some kind and the amounts I've actually found on different tables. The main account itself is found on a third table. Uh, so Atlas, in order to try and deliver the 2009 experience, uh, as uh, we've had to make some improvements so that I can do these joins at a, at a balance formula level. So this is how I've got my account balances in. Now with the general ledger balances becoming a bit more complex to create, having to join two or three tables, I will really want to use the some of the default settings or capabilities of Atlas so that the joins are done for me automatically. So I'm going to come into an existing formula, go into my designer, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an asterisk in to some of these filters. So any company, any account, any date range, and I'm going to click on Save As. What I'd like to do here is make um, give this a saved name of my My default geo balance formula. So that's just the name I want to give it, and I'm going to put it in my shared folder location also in this case, and click OK. So that's not going to change the cell I'm in, that save as is simply saving the definition of the report or the formula out to disk so it can be reused elsewhere. And what I can now do though is come back to my data sources, and I'm going to refresh my list so that I can find that saved query I've just done. I'm going to right click and make this the default. So what that means is the next time I go and create a balance formula uh, from this table general general account entry then the joins will be done for me automatically and the output column the sum of the amount uh, will also be selected for me. So what, that, so what I can now do if I want to do this again, is the next time I go and do a formula based on this table, then you'll see the date is already in here, the main account's already been selected, so the correct fields have been chosen. I don't need to go and navigate to go and get them again. All I really need to do is tailor this this particular cell to suit uh, where I am, or the report I'm in. So that's been done for me automatically now. So, the, so by coming back into my data sources with any save query for the type of report I'm doing, any of these formulas or structured reports, I've done a right click and I've said I want to make this the default to be used uh, for the next time and the next time and the next time. Now, while looking at this, I did discover uh, that within the actual 2012, there is a view that can be used to go and get your chart of accounts for a given company. So you can keep the same experience as AX 2009, uh, being given a, a company filter. Uh, you can go and base your chart from the view main account. So this particular one at a design time uh, is now using a view called main account, uh, and that's the view. Main account cube is the name of the view. Uh, and that will take the company filter 
as you used to be able to do with 2009, you would filter, you would report from ledger table and filter on the company accounts. Uh, so, in order, so to give you that same sort of experience, I would recommend that you use the main account cube view, uh, which you can now add um, in your data source designer uh, to be used whenever you need to go and get a chart of accounts out for a given company. The default solution by Microsoft is you must choose the, corp the account structure first uh, before you can then see a list of your chart and you need to always know for a given company which of these account structures is in use uh, so you need to know that before you can go and get your chart whereas using the view, the main account cube view you don't need to know anything about this, this structure at all you can simply say for my company CEU go and get me my chart of accounts now, to deliver that 2009 experience. Finally, here's a summary of the tables in 2009 and AX4, AX3, etc. that you used to report from and how uh, with AX2012 you need to change things a little bit here. The ledger transactions is now split between general general account entry and general general entry um, and you can see the key columns you have here are on these different tables. This view I mentioned before about main account cube again that provides a basic chart of accounts per company um, and it's probably a better choice instead of having to know the chart of account structure before you can then go and get a chart of account where there's no company relationship or no company filters in that particular approach. The ledger balances transactions that uh, used to be in 2009, ledger balances trans, ledger balances dim trans, they're not available in 2012, uh, so you really must go back to the source transactions. Thank you.